Imagine typing a sentence and instantly getting a cinematic video clip with smooth motion, ambient sound, and realistic characters. That moment is finally here. VO 3.1 from Google has just arrived, and if you thought earlier AI video tools were impressive, this one takes things to a whole new level. In this video, I'll show you what's new, how to access it, and how you can start creating powerful videos using the latest version of Google VO3. Google's VAO model has evolved quickly, and the jump from version 3 to 3.1 is a major one. At first, it might look like a small update, but once you test it, the improvements become clear. The new version brings richer sound, better storytelling control, and more realistic motion. The biggest change is how easy it now feels to guide the camera and keep characters consistent. In this walkthrough, I'll show you how to use these new tools and how they can help you create high-quality content faster than ever. To get started, open your browser and search for Google VO3. Click on the official page from Google DeepMind. You'll see two options. Try it inside Gemini or use Google Flow. I recommend choosing Google Flow because both key features are fully available there. Sign in with your Gmail account and click Create with Flow. Once inside, start by creating a new project to begin generating videos using VO3.1. In your account dashboard, you'll see your monthly credits. The free plan provides 100 credits, which allows you to create up to five videos per month. Upgrading to the Pro or Ultra plans unlocks more credits up to 1,000 per month, giving you around 50 videos and access to the latest models. When you start a project, you'll see several options, text to video, frames to video, and ingredients to video. Each option lets you create videos in a different way, depending on your idea and the type of content you want to produce. Let's begin with the text-to-video feature. Start by deciding how detailed you want your video generation to be. For this example, I'll use this prompt of a lady jogging at sunrise along a coastal road. The interface allows you to choose between portrait and landscape formats, depending on your preferred aspect ratio. Before generating, I recommend setting the output to one video at a time to avoid using too many credits. For the model type, you can choose between VO 3.1 fast and VO 3.1 quality. Keep in mind that the quality mode costs five times more credits than the fast mode. I tested both and didn't notice a significant difference in results. So I suggest sticking with VO 3.1 fast since it only costs 20 credits per video. Once everything is set, click generate. Within about a minute, VO 3.1 will create a cinematic video complete with natural motion, lighting, and sound. It's quick, realistic, and impressively stable for an AI video. The next feature is frames to video. This allows you to upload a starting image and an ending image, and VO 3.1 fills in the motion between them. For example, imagine creating a scene where a male singer enters the stage and fans welcome him with cheers. Your start frame could be a cinematic close-up of the singer's face under a spotlight, microphone in front of him, anticipation in his eyes, and soft bokeh lighting in the background. Then, for the end frame, you could upload a wide-angle shot showing the same singer performing on stage as thousands of fans cheer, raise their hands, and colorful lights illuminate the concert hall. Once both frames are ready, add a short prompt to guide the model to generate a video with a smooth transition between the two frames. Here is the generated video. Hello everyone, are you ready to rock tonight? <laughs> VO 3.1 automatically animates the transition, starting close on the face and smoothly zooming out to reveal the full concert energy, complete with realistic camera motion and lighting continuity. This feature is perfect for storytelling scenes, music videos, or short cinematic moments where you want dynamic movement between two key frames without animating each step manually. Before we look at another major update of VAO 3.1, let me show you something that's been saving me hours of work lately. It's called NoteGPT, and you can either use it directly on their website at notegpt.io or install it as a Chrome extension. Once you've added the extension, open any YouTube video, and you'll notice the NoteGPT panel appears automatically on the right side of the screen. You don't need to copy or paste anything. It's fully integrated. Just click on Transcript and instantly get the full video script, even if the video doesn't have subtitles. You can scroll through timestamps, jump to specific parts of the video, or even download the transcript in TXT or SRT format for editing or reference later. This makes it super useful if you're a content creator working on research-based videos or tutorials. You can extract quotes, reuse ideas, 
or analyze scripts with zero manual effort. Want a quick overview instead? Simply hit Summary. In just a few seconds, NoteGPT generates a clean, structured breakdown of the key points, saving you from sitting through long videos just to find what matters most. You can switch between concise, detailed, or timeline formats, and even translate the summary into more than 40 languages. Great if you follow creators from around the world. It's also perfect for students, researchers, and YouTubers who want to collect key ideas fast and organize them into scripts, study notes, or outlines for future content. And here's the part I really love. You can take any of those summaries and instantly turn them into a podcast using the built-in AI podcast generator. Just select your preferred voice, and NoteGPT transforms your written notes into a smooth, natural-sounding audio narration. It's the easiest way to repurpose your YouTube videos into podcasts or short audio posts for Spotify, TikTok, or your channel's community tab. So, what's this thing you call a personalized GPT ecosystem, and how is it turning into such a gold mine right now? What's wild is, every business leader I meet is desperate to get AI set up. Everything happens in one place. You watch, summarize, and convert to audio all within seconds. With over 8 million users already using it to boost productivity, it's no surprise NoteGPT is quickly becoming a must-have tool for creators and learners alike. All right, back to the tutorial. Let's continue exploring the next major update of VO 3.1. Then comes Ingredients to Video, one of the biggest updates in VO 3.1. You can upload up to three image references called Ingredients. These can be characters, outfits, or environments. VO 3.1 combines them with your text prompt to create one seamless video. This feature is ideal for keeping the same character across multiple scenes while changing the setting or outfit. For example, I have uploaded a photo of a female model, a blue tracksuit, and an orange cape. After that, I'll add this simple prompt. A woman wearing a blue tracksuit and an orange cap walks confidently toward the camera inside a modern house compound, smiling naturally as she models the outfit, then hit generate, and VO 3.1 will blend them into a single, consistent animation. The generated video shows the model walking gracefully with natural motion, accurate lighting, and realistic fabric movement, all perfectly matching the outfit and environment. This feature is incredibly useful in real life for fashion designers, advertisers, and content creators who want to showcase clothing, accessories, or brand visuals without the need for a professional photo shoot. It saves time, reduces costs, and allows for endless creativity in presenting visual concepts. Veo 3.1 also improves how videos extend and flow. Let's say I want to extend this video clip. When I click on Add to Scene, it opens the Scene Builder, allowing me to generate a longer sequence. By clicking on the plus icon, two options appear, Jump to and Extend to. Alternatively, you can move the playhead toward the end of the clip, save the last frame as an image, and use it as the start frame for the next continuity clip. In this example, I'll use the Extend feature. Here, you simply describe what should happen in the next scene. For instance, I'll type, she turns left, sits in a chair and says, welcome to my mansion, then hit generate and wait a few minutes for Veo 3.1 to create the extended clip. Welcome to my mansion. If the two scenes don't blend smoothly, you can trim the end of the first clip or the beginning of the second one to get a cleaner and more connected transition. Once satisfied, export your final video and save it to your device. Another key feature is video editing. Once your clip is generated, you can click the edit button and add a new prompt to modify the existing video. This allows you to include new objects or background elements without starting from scratch. For this particular scene, I'll add a dog by typing, add a dog jogging with her, then hit generate, and VO 3.1 will seamlessly insert the dog into the scene while keeping the rest of the video exactly the same. It's a powerful and efficient way to refine your results and make precise adjustments without using extra credits or recreating the entire project. VO 3.1 isn't just an update, it's a creative breakthrough. With richer sound, smoother transitions, and smarter editing tools, 
it turns simple text prompts into cinematic videos in just minutes. Whether you're creating YouTube videos, short films, or social media content, this update gives you speed, realism, and complete creative control. And before you go, check out NoteGPT using the link in the description. It's the ultimate productivity tool that helps you summarize YouTube videos, generate transcripts, and even turn them into podcasts. Perfect for students, professionals, and content creators who want to work smarter. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more AI tutorials and creative tools. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.